As a famous Jim Morrison once said, I don't know how long his blues is going to last, because every song it sounds like the one before last. Like people like him come and go, and blues still around. Today we're going to dig into blues a bit. Where it started, how it started, and what the hell is this 12 bar blues? And one thing for sure, that why every blues song sounds like same? Well, you guessed it right. It's because of 12 bar blues. When you think of the blues, you think of betrayal, depression, sadness, and all the bad things happen to you in your life. You lose your job, you cut the blues. You lose your girlfriend, you still got the blues, right? Blues has deep rooted in the American history, especially African Americans. And most of the inventor of the blues were the slaves, ex-slaves, and descendants of the farmers. Many claims, but not the one single person invented the blues. During the late 1800s, in the Deep South, many claims, but most of the blues men took their music to the grave due to lack of recordings. In 1920s, Sun House, Blind Lemon Jefferson, Lead Belly, and famous Robert Johnson were the first blues men who came up with the recordings. Robert Johnson, the famous blues man, who sold his soul to the devil to just to get those blues feelings. Now let's get to our point. Why every blues song sounds like same? It's because of 12 bar blues. 12 bar blues actually specific notes out of pentatonic scale played over the 12 bars. It's a three note out of the pentatonic scale which is going to be played over those 12 bars. 12 bar means let's get to it. Let's take to this pentatonic scale like A minor pentatonic. It's five notes. A, C, D, E, G and back to A. Pentatonic, five notes. Penta means five notes. We have to get the three notes out of this pentatonic scale. So, we're going to have this A note, this root note, and then we skip this second note which is C, and then we get to the D. So, from first note for playing over 12, 12 bar blues is A. Then you skip the C note and then you get to the D. And the third note is actually this E note. So the three notes we're going to play over the 12 bar from this A minor pentatonic scale is A, D and E. It is true for every pentatonic scale. So if you're going to play this B minor pentatonic then you start with this B, then you skip this, this note, and then you get to this note, this is E. And the third, third, fourth note of this pentatonic B minor scale is this F sharp. So this is true. You have to take pentatonic scale, first five notes, okay? Five notes are pentatonic scale. Then you have to get to one, three, and fourth note out of this pentatonic scale. And these are the standard followed by all the great blues song from the Buddy Guy to B.B. King or you know Peter Green or Joe Bonamassa or the Joe Robert Johnson. So this just takes A, D and E. Now let's get to the bars. Bar is like this. One, two, three, four. So we have 12 bars. So Put the metronome on and just play this. And what we're going to do, we're going to start with A because we have E, A, D, and E notes. So let me distribute over three notes, A, D, and E. So four bars on the A note and the two bars on the D note, it becomes six. And the two bars back on the A, it's become eight. And then you one bar on the E note and the one bar on D note and then back to the A you have to play two bars it becomes 12 bars this A open then you put your finger on an E note on the D string let's jump to it one two three four this pattern is like this playing this playing this open A with this E note then you put this F sharp over here 
on the same string, on the D string, pattern is like this. Quite a muted one. So you have to play this four bars, okay? Let's play it again. get to the D. D is here. This open D and same put the, this 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 G, G string on this here A note and this play this B note over, over this G string. So same open D and play it for the two bars. Two. That's it. Now we have covered the six bar total, okay? Now you back to the A and play it for the two bar again. Two. So now we have covered the eight bar total. So let me play from the start. Two, three, four. Back to A. These are the total eight bars. For the ninth bar, you have to go on the E E note, and which is open E, and you do the same downstring like this note, E note, on your A string, and do the same pattern. This okay? This C sharp. So, like this, open E and this note and then you play same pattern, quite a muted one and we have to play it for the one bar only and for the second bar we just go on the D, okay? So one bar or the E string. Now you jump to the D for one bar only and then you back to the A for the two, uh, two bars. Let's sum it up, 12 bars. Start from one. One, two, three, four. Hope you understand 12 bar blues now. I touch a little bit ancient to your blues, but you might know something better than me. So please comment, add something to the blues history for the other people. Like this video and subscribe to my channel for the more upcoming videos.